Dr. Philip Stoner in the early 80s published a book called Science Speak. It's out of print, very hard to find and expensive when you do. In this book, Dr. Stoner reports the results of a study conducted by 600 students at Pasadena City College. This study was conducted by the InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. This study took eight of the more of than 53 prophecies given in the Bible about Jesus of Nazareth being the Christ. I now summarize quickly eight of those prophecies, those eight prophecies. Christ to be born in Bethlehem, that he would have a forerunner, that he would enter Jerusalem riding on a donkey, that he would be betrayed by a friend, that his betrayal price would be 30 pieces of silver, that the price would be thrown away and used to buy, to buy a potter's field, that Christ would remain silent at his trial, although he was innocent, and that Christ would be crucified. Dr. Stoner states, what are the odds, the probability of one man fulfilling all eight prophecies? And here was their conclusion. One in 10 to the 28th power. That's 28 zeros behind 10. And that was the conclusion of 600 students in this study. All of these eight prophecies, as well as approximately 53 others, will fulfill in Jesus Christ. Dr. Stoner concludes, and I agree, any person who rejects or doubts that Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of mankind is rejecting, and I quote, a fact that is proven perhaps more absolutely than any other fact in the world. I know you've heard otherwise, but they're not studying the biblical history when they give you those kind of reports. And I close with this remark, this little story rather. In 1834, there was a, name, a lady named Charlotte Elliott who lived most of her life in bad health, constant sick and depressed, she had repeated nights of being awakened with a feeling of uselessness, which often occurred. After such a night, she woke up on the day that her brother, who was also a minister, was having a, a garbage a garage sale. <laughs> the only thing is they didn't have garages back then. It was called a bazaar sale, but she was too sick to help him. She became depressed, went in her house. Charlotte was unable to even help him in any way whatsoever. So she went in and began to comfort herself and pen this poem. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. And that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come. Just as I am poor, wretched, blind, sight, riches, healing of the mind, yet all I need is in thee to find. O Lamb of God, I come. She did not know that that little poem would be used by the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association over the years to win millions and millions of people to him.